Yes, this is what my hair looked like. Today we're gonna have something that we do every month and that is checking out my dreadlock, how far I came, what it looks like now, how nappy is it, not nappy, how locked is it, how good is it, how maintained is it, and from the last time you guys seen it on the 10 months update. Oh, I hate how baggy this thing is. It's supposed to be a turtleneck. So I do this every month. And so if you haven't seen the last month, check out the 10 months update. And I had like literally my hair connected like that. My dreads were gone, backsliding. Some people were telling me to keep the free form, but I said, because if, if, if it wasn't gonna work out with the retwist, guess what I would have done? I would have cut my dreads because I don't want to keep anything on my head that I can't take care of and maintain anymore because it wasn't getting out of hand. It was out of hand. And so shout out Gunther the Great for fixing that. You know, check out the whole video. He did a whole video of how he untwisted or unlocked my freeform and did a retwist and he literally had to use his strength and everything to do that. And so if you haven't checked that video out, check out the video. Maybe it might be in the link in the description or you can go gun to the gray and you will see the video of him doing my hair. So with that being said, you'll see that, uh, you know what I'm saying? My head is much shorter now because I cut it. I'm just kidding. My hair is a little bit different style now. You guys can see the curls in it because I had it in the braid and I took it out, but I sleep like this. I sleep on uh, on it up like that people tell me to wear it down but i don't sleep with it down i don't know it doesn't make sense for me to sleep you know what i'm saying while it's down so yeah uh i hope you guys enjoyed this video um thank you for tuning in and peace out i'm just kidding you guys are gonna see what it looks like and what the transformation made it look like so last month you guys you guys seen it how it looked how bad it looked if you haven't checked out the 10 months video check that out but now it's looking like this, guys. Now it's looking like this, yo. Dang, fam. Your hair grew so much, bruh. Yeah. It's almost a year since I had these dreads. Or you could say a year, to be honest with you. Because last year, uh, December, is when I had this locks in. Yes. This is what my hair looked like. I don't like hair wearing my hair down. Because uh, it gets in my... Like on my face when I'm talking to people or when I'm eating or something. So I like to keep it back like this or up, which a lot of people keep telling me not to do. It's still coiled up or curled up because I haven't uh, did anything with it. I want to wash it and uh, also dye it soon. So if you guys want to follow me on that uh, dread journey, keep following. Go back, watch the videos where I started to where I'm at. It's literally on the back of my, on the back of my back, <laughs> literally. Yeah, it just keeps growing, man. Guys, if you got dreads, maintain them first thing first. Second, be patient because it will grow. I get crazy length of, crazy amount of growth every month, every month. And I rarely do anything to it. I don't put products in there. Uh, I wash it at times, ACV rinse it. Um, but yeah, with that being said, Hey, like, share, subscribe. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's looking like. Last month, I was having issues with it coming down like this. Now it doesn't. But yeah. I like to wear up like this. Or I like to rock it like this. But I'm gonna just leave it down for today. Probably rock it like this for the rest of the day. Guys, I got this amount of subscribers now. 4,930. Uh, I thought I was gonna hit 5K by the end of this year. I'm about to hit it today, probably.
All right, guys, this is a segment for Q&A. So this part of the uh, video is going to be basically answering about Q&As that I had on Instagram. For those that, that are exclusive to Instagram, you guys had an opportunity to ask me whatever question. And based on uh, how interesting the question is, I'll be able to answer it. If it's just like, who are you? Or like, you know what I'm saying? Why you look like m &A or something like that. Uh, things that I already done in the videos, I might not be able to get to those. I'll answer some things that you guys probably are concerned, just like as those people that ask the question. So if you guys want to do this, one of these uh, q and days in the future let me know and go down to uh the ig that i have in the description and basically uh, uh pop a question whenever i post for q a that being said i'm gonna start with some of these people that i've asked okay these are some of the questions that they asked i'm gonna start with uh i'm gonna shout you i'm gonna shout you guys out to uh at exo e a l e x oh exo alex okay cool name how did you and Gunther meet. By the way, I love your videos. Keep it up. I appreciate you, man. Alex, how do me and Gunther uh, meet? So I moved out here to uh, Arizona, Phoenix, Arizona, uh, about 2016. And uh, I moved out here because my big brother was already out here. He moved out here actually for to go to school with uh, Gunther, Gunther the Great and his brother. And so when they moved out here, uh, they ended up not even going to school. I think they were trying to go to Cali, stop by here and then go to Cali and probably go to probably go to school there but then they ended up just being here and they liked it here uh they kind of found the same school here but they didn't attend school technically they just started working i just basically hit up my brother and i was like i need to move from uh, wherever i was at to here and so he hit me up he said yeah come come out here we got an apartment and all that stuff you can roommate with me uh so i was just like great and so i moved out here in 2016 um I was sleeping on the floor, but that's all a different story. Whenever I moved out here, uh, I was I was actually uh, in, in my brother's bedroom for like a few days because I was just chilling there. I didn't know him, Gunther the Great or his brother. And they were they were always editing in the living room, and I was just chilling in the bedroom literally for two days. So the day uh, that we went to church on Wednesday was the day that I saw him. I came here, I believe Tuesday, and then I didn't see him till Wednesday. So one day, yeah. That's how. Basically, I met them that, that, that day that we was going to church. They were like, oh, yeah, let's see your brother. So, yeah, I came out there in the living room. I met him. Or they kind of peeked inside the, li the bedroom, and they saw me. They were like, hey, what's up, man? And then I just, like, shook him up. I was like, what's up, man? How you guys doing? And so that's when I met him first, and that was, like, three years ago. Came a long way. Blake. Blake, shout out to Blake. Blake, I've I seen Blake a lot of times. He's, he's day one. He's part of the day one for sure. Um, but he asked, what's your favorite hairstyle? I think this is my favorite hairstyle, just pineapple style. I don't know if that's the name for it. If now we're gonna make it a, a name for it. Uh, I like it. I like this. I like wearing it in the back ponytail also. I know you guys see me with this all the time. You guys like, take take down your hair. Let's see what it looks like or so. But I don't like it done. I don't like rocking it down into each his own. You know what I'm saying? So somebody asked, do you have a tattoo? I don't know if that's uh, dread related, but I do not have a tattoo. I actually wanted to get a whole sleeve, arm sleeve. Uh, I wanted to design it because one of the passions that I had was drawing. I used to draw a lot and I used to uh, uh, kind of like draw names and kind of like what tattoo artists really do before they actually start doing tattoos. And I wanted to be a tattoo artist for a while, but then that, 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 that game is sketchy, man. Tattoo art, tattoo business is, is, is a little bit sketchy. It's not like haircut or anything like that. And you meet, you meet crazy people with, those, with that with that line of work and so uh i decided to do that a while back uh when i was like 18 and then uh i remember asking somebody that can train me and he was like i need, I need like 5k up front and i'm like dang five thousand dollars i work i'm working at mcdonald's there's no way i give you five i think i was 17 i was like there's no way i give you five thousand dollars because i ain't got that much money i get paid 750 and uh yeah and then like, like i i kind of noticed from there like they're not out there to really mentor me or train me they're just about the money but of course some some, some people i've met other people that are nice i wanted to teach me but uh after that it started burning out of me and i started getting to other stuff okay next question is uh, by Cali Cookies underscore 707. I have an afro. How should I start dreading my hair? Cali, uh, oh, Kali. I think it's Cali. Uh, Kali or Cali. Uh, I'm actually about to drop a video with one of my buddies soon on how to start like a dread. Um, and it's, it depends on what you prefer. Is you want thick dreads, you want thin dreads. Uh, I prefer thicker dreads for some reason. Like, I think I got mine at a perfect size. It's not too thick, it's not too thin. Um, and through time, as you keep retwisting your hair, one of the things I noticed is it, it keeps on getting skinnier or thinner. And so 
depending on what you are looking for, I think you can start with like towel rub or sponge rub. Uh, I recommend just growing it out for at least six, seven, eight, even up to a year and enjoy other hairstyles. Like if you, if you, if you have an afro, the whole thing is an afro, then you're going to look rough. You're going to definitely look rough unless you get like maybe taper and then like curl it up or whatever. But if you have a thick hair and you have an afro, I've been through that stage when I was in high school. Uh, I wasn't able to get a cut because I didn't have money. And so I had an afro for like a whole year of my senior year. And I remember walking on the stage for graduation and my cap, my graduation cape was falling down and falling off and all the way in the back hanging barely with some with some hair. It was just a pain, man. Uh, so you're going to go through a, a rough stage and I think uh, you should grow it out as an Afro first for like a year, then turn it to dreads with sponge rub method or section it out. Do it like how you do two strand twist or whatever. Instead of doing two strand twist, just make it a one twist or coil it up. And then from there, start crochet hooking it. So that's my best recommendation. Okay, guys, that's it for the video today. I, I know some of you guys have asked questions, but uh, I didn't want to make it too long. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this segment, I might make just one video, a whole video for a Q&A so that everybody can ask. If you guys enjoyed this video, please thumbs up and like and share. And also hit the notification because I noticed that when I looked at the analytics, not a lot of people get notified. So you guys don't really know when I upload. I usually upload Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Those are the days that I like to upload. Uh, so please guys, hit the notification uh, so that you guys can get notified. And for the notification gang, I'm gonna I'm comment down on this video saying notification gang and whoever likes it or comments on it, I know that you guys are notification gang. And I appreciate you because I'm good at taking notes of people. I know a lot of people are day one. I just gotta keep getting used to familiar with your faces or your Instagram or your uh, comments. So I appreciate everybody that's been doing that. Let's get us to 10K by the end of this year, okay? Because I'm gonna be dropping bangers. From now on, it's gonna be bangers. It's been bangers in the past, but I literally have so much like crazy ideas, but really good content. So I love you guys so much. I appreciate it. Activerse Universe, clocking out.